Let's take a look at the secret to creating the film look in your videos. The tool that's used to create the film look is called halation. Halation is that red-orange glow that can typically be found around the highlights in film. It also often seeps into your mid-tones and that creates a nice glowing skin tone in your images. Halation occurs in the process of developing your film and for that reason it doesn't occur naturally in digital cinema. Now there are two ways that we can achieve the look. Number one would be with the diffusion filter in front of your lens and number two would be using the halation tool within your editor. Today we'll be taking a look at how to create halation and post-production in DaVinci Resolve. So we're here in Resolve and we're just going to play through this sample footage so that you can see the effect in action. I shot this footage for a very talented photographer in KZN South Africa by the name of Lauren. I'll leave her Instagram link below if you want to check out more of her work and our model for the day was Wotea. I'll also leave her information down below. Now as you play through the effect you're going to notice that the skin starts glowing and warms up. Your highlights also get that nice glow. Uh, you'll see it here really nicely, the skin really starts popping. So if we take a closer look, we'll just do a quick before and after. Pay particular attention to the highlights here and then Watea's skin as well. So that is before and that is after. So you can see these nice glows start appearing in the highlights and they're also evident within the skin tones. If we go to over here, this is before. Pay attention to these highlights around here within her hair, her dress, her jewelry, and then as well as her skin tone. You can see how it all just gets that nice filmic glow to it. Now it's a really simple effect, let's jump into the color tab and I'll show you how it works. You'll see in the color tab I've already run through my entire node tree, I've done all of my adjustments on my image and I like to apply my halation as the very last step. Now you're going to find halation by jumping into your effects tab over here and you're just going to search the word halation, drag that and drop it onto your node. Now I've developed a personal node tree that I really like to use in color grading. I find it to be really simple and fairly effective. If you'd like a more detailed video of how I approach this, let me know in the comments down below. But for today, we're just going to be taking a look at halation, which is the effect that I've placed on the final node of my node tree over here. And I really haven't adjusted too many of the parameters. However, there are plenty available for you to take a look at. When first getting started with this tool, it works to just throw on the effect and leave all the settings to default and it creates a pretty good look as I've done over here, as you can see, before and after. But let's take a little bit of a closer look at what kind of adjustments you're able to make. Now you've got all of these different categories to your parameters and all of them have a really nice checkbox here that allows you to look at only the areas that are being affected by your parameters. So when you look at something like threshold, what that does is it affects how much of your image is susceptible to the halation taking place. So, if you increase that number, it's going to be less of your image. And if you decrease that number, it's going to be more of your image. So we're just going to leave it on zero over here. Another nice tip is by hovering over the parameters, you're able to see what they affect. As you can see, normalization affects the level at which dark colors are reduced. So when we're playing around with that, you can see the effect that's happening here. And again, I like to leave that one for this example, just at the default setting. Film saturation level is going to affect how saturated the halation is. So if you pull that up, you can see a very saturated halation taking place there. But let's bring that back down. Dye layer reflection. So this is another level of halation that you're able to add. So we can pump that up just a bit and that actually looks pretty good. That's the strength of that effect right over there. As you can see again, hover over it. Gamma is how the glow spreads out. So you can make it spread a whole bunch or we can make it spread very little to none at all. Set it back to default and just find a setting that works for you. Saturation again is gonna affect how saturated that area of halation is and spread will affect how far that halation actually spreads throughout your image. So you've got a lot of settings here that you can dial in. You also have the option to fine tune these even further if you wish into a RGB spectrum. Uh, if we come down to the secondary glow, you can add another glow here. So as you can see, you can adjust a whole bunch of settings, gamma, the spread there. A really nice one is the grain, so you can add grain. And to me, that also adds a, a very characteristic film look to your image. And you can adjust how that grain is gonna be affecting your image. Global adjustments, uh, you can just view the glow alone, which is a really nice feature again. Uh, reducing highlights is pretty cool. So if we come up here, what we're able to do is by increasing this, you actually bring the highlight uh, intensity down. So 
you can see the highlights aren't really appearing. If we set it back to default, uh, there we go. That's your halation is quite evident there. And we can make all of these different changes. And I, I recommend playing around with all of these settings, hovering over the parameter if you're not sure what that parameter will do, and then messing around with it to dial in the look that you're after. And then finally, you've got the global blend, and that's just kind of the intensity of the overall effect. So if that blend is at zero, the effect isn't being blended into your image at all. If the effect is at one, the effect is being blended completely into your image. Now my personal approach to applying halation is I like to use it very subtly. I don't want the halation to be the feature of the image, rather I want it to be a tool used to accentuate and bring the image to life. I do recommend playing around with the parameters and finding the settings within the effect that suits your style of filmmaking. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn about more tools to improving your filmmaking. I'll see you guys in the next one.